Gimriz has attracted visitors not only for its sweet mangoes, but also for its agri, the tourism attractions. The island's rural charm has piqued the interest of socially aware visitors who want to see how traditional livelihood practices have flourished and to learn about sable weavers weaving technique in San Lorenzo, Gimras. Sable's village weavers had made weaving their way of life. They inherited the craft of weaving mats and bags from their forefathers, which they passed down to their parents and themselves. They were used to the simple and peaceful life of the village, where everyone looked out for one another. Weavers have found joy in their lives. Sable Weavers members also participate in a social activity, with both men and women involved in the production process. Men are primarily responsible for the planting, harvesting, cleaning, and manual drying of buri and barrios leaves. The dried materials are transported to the handicraft center for making mats and other items. Women weavers would have to work until midnight to keep up. They claimed that the noble work of weaving contributes to the betterment of families' lives. They were able to send family members to school and produce graduates by weaving mats, bags, and other products while sitting on the floor to demonstrate how mats are manually woven. Furthermore, a weaver believes that by weaving, we have realized many Sapel families' dream. Sapel. San Lorenzo community process of making woven mats and bags. First, they have to harvest the boreas, buri or apandan leaves. Next, they have to remove the thorns side by side and into the center. Then, they are going to dry the harvested leaves under the heat of the sun, then roll it after. After that, stretch and press the leaves to straighten the leaves. Next thing to do is to stretch the leaves into the desired size you want for your product. Lastly, it's weaving time. Here are some examples of their products. 